Welcome to How To Cook That, I'm Anne Reardon and today we're making an apple. Well, really it's a vanilla mousse with apple and cinnamon in the centre, but the challenge today is to make it using only everyday equipment that most people would have in their kitchen, no moulds allowed. The first thing we need to do is peel our apples, then cut them into cubes and place all of that diced apple into a bowl. To stop the apples from going brown, you need to immediately add some apple puree and stir that through. And all these recipe quantities are on the howtocookthat.net website and I'll link to that below for you. Add to that a little bit of cinnamon and some vanilla and mix that through. Stretch your balloon to open it and then spoon in a tablespoon of your apple and cinnamon mixture. You'll need someone to help you with this because you don't have three hands, I assume. You'll need one of these for each apple that you're making. Once the mixture's inside, let the balloon close. And if it doesn't look round, like this one's a bit odd, give it a squeeze to shape it into a circle shape and then twist the top and you want to place that in the freezer. To make the vanilla mousse, you'll need egg yolks, corn flour, sugar, gelatin, cream, milk and vanilla. Pour most of the milk into the pan with the vanilla and then mix the rest of it in with your gelatin. Make sure you're stirring this while you're adding the milk. Don't just pour it in and then stir later. And then once that's all mixed in, leave that so the gelatin can soften. To the egg yolks, add the sugar and the corn flour and whisk those together. Whisking it together like this first just helps make sure you don't get any lumps of corn flour. Then pour that in with your milk and your vanilla and give it a good stir. Put that onto the stove top and stir continuously until it thickens. It's important that you keep stirring it the whole time. Once it's thick, keep stirring it for a minute longer over the heat so that that egg yolk can cook completely and all the starch granules in the flour can burst so it doesn't have the floury taste. Remove that from the heat and add in the gelatin, stirring until it's dissolved. Put it into the bowl of an electric mixer and then add your cream and stir it until it's smooth. Then you want to wait until that reaches room temperature, then turn your beaters back on and whip the mixture to aerate it and then we're going to tip that into a soft drink bottle. Grab your balloons with the apple in out of the freezer one at a time and inflate them to about the size of an apple. Twist it and then put that over the top of the bottle. So these have like a little ball of frozen apple in the middle of them. Allow it to untwist and then tip up the bottle and squeeze it to tip in some of your mousse. Feel and check that it's full and once it's full just pull it off the balloon and tie a knot in the top which is always tricky and once you've done that you can put it back into the freezer and you want to leave it there for at least a few hours. To make the stems, melt some chocolate in the microwave and then pour that into a piping bag. If you put some alcohol into the freezer, it will not freeze because alcohol lowers the freezing point of water. I have a few ice crystals in mine because my freezer is set to the coldest setting, but it won't freeze solid. You don't actually need the icicles, you just need it to be really cold. And then all you do is pipe in the chocolate and it sets instantly. And because you're not piping it out onto a flat surface like baking paper or something, you end up with a stem that's rounded rather than one that's flat on one side. If they're a bit long you can of course just snap them to make them the right length and then it looks like they've been snapped off the tree. For the glaze we're going to need sugar, sweetened condensed milk, gelatin, white chocolate and water. The first thing you need to do is add some of the water in with the gelatin and give that a stir. And you can just leave that to soften like we did when we were making the mousse. Into the bowl add the sugar and the rest of the water and your sweetened condensed milk. Heat that in the microwave stirring regularly until there are no more grainy bits of sugar and the sugar is completely dissolved. 
Then add in your gelatin and stir that through until you can't see any more lumps. The hot mixture should just melt that. Then add in your white chocolate. And once that's all added, we're just going to leave it for a few minutes so that the warmth of the mixture just melts the chocolate. And then you can just stir it through. And once it's smooth, add in the coloring of your choice. Decide whether you want to make red apples or green apples or some other strange colored apples. <laughs> it's up to you. Before you use this glaze, you will need to let it cool down to room temperature or it will just melt a layer of the apple and fall off. Take your balloons out of the freezer and cut off the top and then just peel back the upper area there so that you've still got the balloon on the bottom so you've got something to hold on to without touching the frozen mousse. Take your knife and flatten off the top. Then use the point of your knife to dig a hole and spin your apple as you do so that we get that indent in the top of the apple where your stem should go. Use your knife to shave off any sharp edges that you have so it's nice and rounded and smooth. And then just peel off the rest of your balloon. Stick a skewer in the top so that you can lift the apple. And then do the same thing with the rest of the frozen desserts. And then you want to store them in the freezer until you're ready to glaze them one at a time. Take a paintbrush and some diluted red food colouring and add stripes around the outside of your apple. Apples are rarely one solid colour, so that's why I'm doing this to give a little bit of variation. Then dip the apple into the glaze, just turning it and pushing it down to make sure all the sides and the top indent there have glaze on them. Then lift it up and just gently hold it turning it so that the excess glaze can drip off back into the bowl. Then put that onto some baking paper. Now the glaze will continue to drip down slowly. I'll just put this in fast forward so you can see that happening. We don't want this pool of glaze at the bottom. So before that sets, what I want you to do is lift up the apple, give it a twist and a turn, and then put it into a new spot. Now all you need to do is add the stem of your apple and leave it in the fridge for about three hours for that mousse and the apple in the centre to defrost and become nice and soft and ready to eat. Now to see what it looks like on the inside. The wait is over. We have our apple and cinnamon centre surrounded by our vanilla mousse and the white chocolate glaze. Mmm, that tastes good. Subscribe to How To Cook That for more crazy sweet creations. Click here for desserts, here for chocolate and here for cakes. Make it a great week and I'll see you on Friday.